separately and upload it to YouTube. But this is very important, and it very much relates to you, Deadpan. Oh, okay. I told you there was going to be something funny at the end. I forgot about it. So, as you finish up all this stuff and the day goes by, uh, you manage to get on your way back to the base. We're, this, we're fast forwarding a little bit. I'm still going to get you guys loot and shit. And deadpan, at some point you find yourself drifting off to sleep. Today has been a bit of a wreck on you. Okay. You fall asleep in the back of the one of the cars, just resting. And everything seems to like fade to silence. Your dreams are black and empty. There's there's silence. And then something crackles into into uh into notice as you seem to see this reality is such a sensitive construct is not someone with enough sheer willpower and mental fortitude can bend it to their will with just a single thought isn't that what we psychos are I do not know where this message will be sent amongst the Great Expanse, but I wish to address a few things first before I begin addressing things of my own. If you are a creature tainted by the Immaterium and wish to feast on my soul, then come out from hiding in the warp and take it yourself. But if you are a creature that has yet to be corrupted, then pay close attention to my messages in the future. I will be watching. So you uh, receive this message in your dreams and you are fully aware that this is not just a dream. This is actually a message coming across the warp from a fellow psyker, it seems. Mm. But not just any psyker, a full-fledged astropath. And uh, your knowledge of this is that astropaths are generally used to relay messages across the galaxy. And this one just seems bored as fuck and is just throwing it out into the void. Hmm. Interesting. You can, if you would like, uh, work with me shortly to send a message back because yeah. for some reason you feel yeah. like you have a link to do so. Yeah, I'm up for it. But yeah, that that was the thing that we're working on. And for the rest of you, for context, I mean, Pixie already knows who the fuck that is. But uh, that is that is uh, a character from our Rogue Trader campaign. Yes, we are canonically so we are canonically in the same universe. But Necromunda takes place in the system, the whatever if solar basically no way in hell will ever meet they will never come this far in this is you guys are in the territory where the orc on the fucking rogue trader ship would be kill on sight and these guys would be branded heretics yeah god yay yeah. but so it's basically like reggie in um fucking in fucking uh low light what time it's there but you're never gonna see it. yeah so you technically they... share the same universe, this is the same continuity, but uh, they are multiple solar systems away from you. Alright. So you're saying, I, I, I... I can establish stuff in Rogue Trader and you have to abide by it here. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, I look. can do the same here. <laughs> uh... Are we just gonna have COVID, COVID, COVID? Reality can be whatever I pin want. pals now. <laughs> yeah, basically, basically the idea that I worked out with a uh, fucking Sponge who plays. Uh, his name is actually I'm not going to tell you his name because he hasn't told you. Uh, you'll have to ask. But uh, he he plays that character, and he and you are assuming you're okay with it. Going to be uh, astropath pen pals sending messages oh. back and forth between <laughs> campaigns, and. Awesome. Uh, Eventually, uh, Astropaths can act. He's a lot more powerful of a psyker than you can hope to be. Let's just put it that way. Like you, you have control over your eminent domain. He has. He can do shit across the galaxy, in a way. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Look, we just got a message. So he he can he can he can uh eventually 
once we get further into our Rogue Trader campaign, he's going to be able to actually affect this world and basically act as a really fancy uh, network contact for you guys. Ooh. Um, gotcha. Meanwhile, <laughs> on your end, you guys can feed him some very interesting uh, information from closer to Terra that you might come across in your travels. So that's basically yeah. what's going on here. <laughs>